toothpicks. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little more simpler. Um, we're gonna be doing smoked lead quarters. Not real lead quarters, smoked lead quarters. And today, what we have, we have some chicken lead quarters, some basic marinades, and I'm gonna start you off by showing you what I do to put in a marinade and whatsoever. Uh, let you guys know for the food police out there, if people want to uh, come arrest me for things they don't agree with, hey, I did wash my hands, all right? Hands are washed, clean, when you're in your house, hey, I keep my hands washed anyway. So, come on over and just take a look at this chicken. All right? All right? So, what we have today, guys, we got some already, some chicken over here, already have pre-prepped, I've already trimmed them up. You ain't got to do a lot of too, too much to this chicken, guys. All I really kind of want to do is just show you, is you want to kind of take some of the, the hanging pieces off, like the fat, or you don't have to do that at all. You can just leave it as it is. But today, I'm going to take off the fat, little pieces hanging over. Sometimes they have these little butt ends. Take them off. And once you get them like that, you may want to take your kitchen shears. You want to cut your fat off. I got some Dexter cooking shears right here, guys. Pretty sharp. Or you can use an old trusty knife. And then, you know, once you get that cut off, throw it in the bag. Do the same thing to these other ones. Cut a little bit of fat off. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, like I said. Some of this fat can just pull off. But I got to get my chicken kind of uniform, guys. Looking nice on the grill, you know. And I don't like, I don't really eat a lot of dark meat. But uh, today I'm going to eat it. But the reason I don't eat a lot of dark meat, guys, is just sometimes it has too much fat. But when I'm doing it myself, I like to trim it how I want to. And you can do the same thing at home. You can trim it exactly how you want to. Cut off the little butt piece. And there you go. You put it in another bag. All right. So I'm going to reach over here while that's sitting there. Keep the fat right there. And, you know, keep the cap focus on that. Wash my hands up. I like just touched chicken. You know, chicken, you gotta be kind of careful. You know, you can spread a lot of salmonella poisoning around the kitchen. You're gonna keep your hands washed. Dry my hands off real quick. All right. And what I have over here, I got some simple things we're gonna use, guys. I'm not the first guy that came up with this, just to let you know. But, you know, simple marinades, you can use a basic salt brine, or you can, uh, which consists of sugar and salt, uh, which is kosher salt, and some ice, water, put it in the fridge, or I got some of this Italian dressing. And that's what we're going to use today, guys. I'm going to split this evenly and put them in the bags. And what I have right here, guys, is an SPG, which is, if you don't know, salt, pepper, and garlic mixed up into this my little shaker bottle. So we'll just find you a little shaker and mix you up some. The longer it sits, the better it is. So guys, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna pour a lot of this dressing in some of these bags. Just, you know, go ahead and squeeze it in there. Nothing too difficult. Squeeze it in there. I got another one. I don't really get this in here. Squeeze it in there. Just all gone. Just keep squeezing. I don't really have to tell you this over and over. You kind of figure that out. And then I'm going to take some of my SPG. I'm just going to dump a little bit in there. Give it a little more flavor. When I take them out, I'll throw some more of this on there. If I had to say how much I'm putting in here, guys, put about maybe four tablespoons each. And what does, I might shake this up a little bit because, you know, some of the heavier granules kind of fall to the bottom when you're doing it. So you got to shake it up a little bit more. You don't have to put four tablespoons, you can put as much as you want. But I'm gonna do about that. And once I'm done with that, guys, just go ahead, 
Get the air out your back. Take the zip lock back. And then you're gonna seal it up. Same with the other one. Get your air out your bag. Seal it up. There you go. Air out the bag. Seal it up. Okay, and I'll show you an example of what I'm gonna do next. Once you got everything in here, guys, pretty much kind of mix that all up. Mix it all up till it gets all over that chicken. Some of that seasoning's hanging out at the top. Mix that all up. Put some of these bottom pieces flipping to the top. And what I'm gonna do today, guys, I'm gonna leave these in there. Maybe an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. It's 2.36 right now on my clock. So I'm not gonna put these on till about four or five. So maybe three hours. You can you can marinate these as long as you want to. You marinate up, up to an hour. I wouldn't do no less than an hour. You can do them all night if you want to. But I'm cooking these tonight, and some of these will be for my uh, my lunches and stuff like that. And that's basically how you do that, guys. I'll do the other ones off camera, and we're gonna let these sit. And once we do that, we'll come back, and these things should be ready to go on the smoker. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? So our chicken's been sitting in the freezer, not the freezer, the fridge, for about three and a half hours. It's about 2.30, 2.45, and it's about, let's see, six o'clock right now. So like I said, you can let them sit how long as you want. I'm gonna do these today, guys, on my, um, this is the new Weber Summit right here. So I'm gonna be, these should all fit on here. I'm gonna be doing this on here, and I got my temperature around Almost 300s, 282 right here. I'm gonna do it between 275 and 300. Um, it's really not a slow smoke. It's kind of a smoke, but it's pretty, you know, fast. It should be done about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on how it's crispy you want to do a skin. But it's not gonna be too crispy since we're smoking it. We're not grilling it today. All right, guys. So um, over here, let's go over to the chicken. I got the chicken out. I got it in the drain pan. Uh, I got it in the drain pan so the juices can drain up here and not mostly in my grill. I put it with some SPG, some salt, pepper, garlic. Put a little more on there. And I got my own little rub that I made up a little while back. A little spicy, a little sweet that I have. Got that right there and I'll be putting that on as I go. So let's go ahead and open up the kettle lid. And I got this thing set up as for indirect um, cooking. I can go over there a little bit about that later, how I got it set up. I got a diffuser plate in here it comes with. It helped me with the smoking process. I got my uh, great level thermometer right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set these on here. Kind of just set them around as you go. Get them lined up. And these should all fit on here, guys. No problem. One more, and we're gonna make it. Just giving you kind of idea how much chicken this thing can fit. So I'm gonna take off my glove right now because I don't need it no more. Then I'm gonna hit. I hit the backside with the SPG. I'm gonna hit a little bit on the top of the skin. Go ahead and sprinkle it on there. all on there and you gotta cake it on it Just sprinkle it as you a little bit as you go get it started all right now I'm gonna take my other one excuse me getting in the camera's way and I'm gonna hit this hit it with the top of this Worry about making a mess, you can clean up your gratings later. I'm at home, so take care of it at home as I please. 
you, you can put any kind of rub on here you, you want, guys. I'm not really going to know how much, what kind of rub I made on this one. But later on, that's for a later video. To kind of tell you what kind of rubs I make. I use other rubs also. I like using Meat Church sometimes. OBQs. And there you go. So as you got all those on there, I'm going to go ahead and close the lid up so I can bring my tent back up. All right. And my temp, if I want my temp to fly up, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this top damper because I got it down to 124. And um, I'm going to let that come up to temp. Go on my bottom, I'm going to swing my, my dampers so I can get some heat in. And once I get that back up to the tip I want, I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna watch it. Come back and I'll check these in about 30 to 45 minutes. Stay tuned. All right guys, I'm back out here and we're gonna be um, checking to see how it looks. It's been about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And let's just go ahead and lift it up. All right, so it's getting to change colors. And what I'm gonna do here is just take temperature a couple of them. And I like to get it in the meaty part. It's about 165 because it's sitting there a little closer to the heat. But if I go to the middle ones, about 154. I'm shooting for 175 on dark meat today. 156. 154. So we got a little more, more time to cook. And I'll kind of come out here and then I'll baste them with some barbecue sauce a little bit and let them cook a little longer. Might bring the temp up to like 300. All right, guys. See you in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put some sauce on them. Bring it up. See, they got a little color on them. Not too dark. Just going to sauce the top of them. And then what I'll do off camera is once I wait about 10 minutes and I'll flip them over and I'll sauce the bottom of them. I have to get that all on camera. Just something just want to let y'all know you can do. Or you can just do the top. So I'll just keep doing this. Like I said, and sauce this one, just like this. Sauce all of them. And we'll close it back down and let it finish cooking. And it should be ready to come off. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so it's about ready to take these off. I turned them over, as you can see. I got, I wanted to crisp the skin up a little bit. So you can do that. So let's take the temperature of some of these and just see where we're at. Should be ready to go. 178, 170, get some bigger ones over here, 169, so it's about ready to go, pretty good, 162, so really between 160, 160, 165, meat's about done, you can bring up the 170 depending on how tender you want it, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off and then we'll bring them in the house, and that way you can see them a little good, and that's how I smoke lead quarters. All right, guys, so we got the lead quarters in here. As you can see, the color them has a higher I want it by leaving them on there a little longer. Maybe about two and a half hours on cook time, maybe a little longer. I kept it around 275, 285. It could have went a lot long, longer uh, if I had to uh, bring it up to 300, but let's just bring it apart. Man, I don't even need that. I'll just show you how tender that is. Look at that bomb. Looks real good, guys. Little red color, if you see that, that's from the smoke. So don't worry about that. But it's not bleeding or anything. That's some good chicken. So until next time, thank you. Subscribe and like Two Fits.